right, here we go. So what we're going to do with Michelle's hair is we're going to cut it. We're going to cut it first, get most of it out of the way. But what we're going to do is we're going to donate this to the Little Princess Trust as well. Um, so if any of you guys and girls want to get involved in this, basically they take hair, donated hair that's cut off, um, and what happens is they'll they'll basically make it into wigs for people who suffer from cancer, or little well children and young adults who suffer from cancer and things like that. So it's a really worthy cause. So if you want to get involved, you know, and have you know a reasonable amount cut off then um, it's a good way, it's a good, it's a good course to do it for anyway. So here we go, the first incision. Ta-da! Should we show her or not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Yay. There you go. <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> Freedom! So I'll be there we go, everybody. I'll be lighter when I get on the scales later. And, uh, you know, my hand's probably about five or six inches long, so you can, you can see. It's a good amount. It's a good amount. Right. Here we go. The main event. As if that wasn't shocking enough. Now, I brought my scissors in here. Now you've got to wait, magic. <laughs> yes, here we go. So anybody who's bored online at home or bored at work, not that I condone it, but still. <laughs> you know, feel free to comment, ask questions, throw some options out there. That's already looking cool. Nice and light. I know, you'd be like... But just remember, you'll be towel drying this, there'll be no problem at all. <laughs> Easy. So how are you feeling, Michelle? Are you feeling nervous? No. Good. <laughs> so the consultation we had, you know, the one thing I do with clients is I don't want people to feel that I'm just cutting hair off. I won't cut hair off if it won't suit people. So, with Michelle's hair, as soon as she said she wanted it shorter, I was just like, yes, that would definitely work. Because, you know, she's got such a petite face, such a good bone structure that if you kind of take it all back, you can see that it's going to look really good anyway. So, a lot of people tend to tie their hair really strictly back and then end up, you know, almost looking like me with no hair at all. So, when people tie their hair back, as strongly as that, they wear the hair like short hair all the time. They just don't realise it. So, why not have it in a style? Unless you wear it longer and actually play around with it, then that's fine. But a lot of long hair just ends up being long hair just because it does. So, Come on, Paul. <laughs> Come on, cameraman. So, always keep it clean. We're not going to go massively, massively skin tight short. But with short hair, you need to have accuracy in the shape. Otherwise, it just doesn't sit quite right. You can't just go chopping into it, hacking away. You need the shape first before you start getting involved and in cutting all the hair off. Michelle was worried about it being curly. <laughs> I don't want to look like a poodle. <laughs> you joke, there are photos. There are photos, oh okay. There is evidence. There is evidence of, of curly, curly hair. Yeah. With competitors from over 60 countries, the eyes of the world are on the race with over 
funny when you've got curly hair and you want straight hair, and when you've got straight hair and you want curly hair. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. <laughs> when you've got no hair, you want hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't see the point in keeping it long when it spends 9% of its time scraped back because it's just in the way. So. Exactly. Exactly. It's one of the most difficult things people kind of, you know, people get bored with the long hair but aren't willing to do much about it. Once you've got long hair, the worry of cutting it off is always more of a thing than anything else. Mm. The worry of losing it. But if you cut it short and you don't like it, it grows back. It's not yeah. like you cut it and it's a permanent fixture. It does grow back. It wasn't so much cutting it off for me that hey. um, it bothered me about going short. It's, I just don't want to look like a poodle or a boy. <laughs> no poodles and no boys. Yeah. That's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, the start of the short haircut. Okay, tomorrow I've got to make a navigation call. Even for price, with these shoe right attitude, the pressure of leading out the most accessible. So it's going to be a soft short haircut, not just whack it off and hope for the best. And you can already see the softness kind of creeping in on those outer edges. <clears throat> so if anyone's ever thought about reining their hair back in again quite dramatically, the Little Princess Trust is definitely a worthy cause to do that for. So. Check it out online. It's nice to know that your hair is not going to go to waste if you have a large yeah. amount taken off and it's going to be useful to somebody else. Yeah, exactly. You know. And some people, unfortunately, you know, you know that will go to a good cause. You know, some little kid will actually have a wig to wear and feel confident about. Brave people. <laughs> yeah. Let's make Ruby brave. <laughs> right, so don't know about everyone else, I'm missing mince pies. <laughs> Can help me out there. <laughs> Compulsory half a stone at Christmas. <laughs> oh, tea break. I've done better this year. I think we started in November, didn't we? Last year eating chocolates. And we'll buy these for Christmas and then you think, oh, this fancy chocolates might have to come. And then before you know it, they're gone. Yeah, before you know it, you've got these. <laughs> oh, there's an empty box there. Yes. Yeah, we probably had about eight empty boxes last year before Christmas okay. and then started again in December. <laughs> <laughs> It does happen. We were good this year, we didn't do it. <laughs> it's a good start. Oh, there we go, the start. So, other than just taking the edges, tidying up a few little areas. It's looking very good. <laughs> And this is what scarves are for, okay? <laughs> Especially in this kind of weather. We need a scarf with long we hair need, anyway. We it's need just a scarf. Got up, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Less is more. Less is more. Now, let's have a look at the sides. So. A bit more exposed. Australians were waking up to the news that an Aussie was leading the world. A bit more full. With the event now very much in the business end, it was time to attack. Right. 
son. Keeping your sections clean, make sure it's all nice and tidy. One of the things everyone causes trouble with is just going bang, 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 and then you end up with kind of a, it's a bit too severe. We're not going for that severe look today, we're going for that soft, delicate, feminine look. So, the short haircuts are very technical haircuts. They're a lot harder than, say, longer haircuts and things like that because you have to take into consideration the angles and how the hair is shaped, the head shape, the face shape, everything else. So everything has to be taken into consideration. You can't just go whacking off a load of hair and hoping it will look great because in quite a lot of instances it doesn't. By the way, we've got motorbikes in the background as well. <laughs> you see, two of my favourite things, cutting hair and motorbikes. Yeah. <laughs> so like I said, we're going to keep this soft, keep it delicate, keep it feminine. We've got our shape and our line in now, so let's just start taking a little bit of bulk away, but not too much of it. I still want it to feel like thick, full hair. And Michelle's hair isn't massively thick, but there's things you can do. There's things you can do. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky thing. So is mine. <laughs> he was quite young when he started losing his. You know what? There's actually I don't think there's a, a single male of my, a male member of my family with a full head of hair. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> Just go with a damn good beard. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing the hair never grows when you want it to. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, so there we go. There is our general shape. Short, soft, feminine. Doesn't have to be aggressive, doesn't have to be really sharp, doesn't have to be really solid. It's just short and soft. So there's my 80% there. <laughs> the rest is all flexible. No, let's get the rest, let's get this side sorted out. I'm going to be as light as a feather when I get on the scales later. <laughs> exactly. Best for weight loss. <laughs> Lose a couple of pounds easily. Yeah. Depending on the amount of hair. Alright, so... We've only just got to make the other side exactly the same. No trouble whatsoever. <laughs> right.
So a lot of people ask me if I enjoy doing this. Yes, I do. Um, <laughs> simple answer. But I enjoy creating something different for clients. Trims, trims, you know, you can... Anyone can do a long hair trim. It's just a straight line. It's fairly easy. But to create a shape in a client's hair and to change somebody so dramatically makes such a big difference to their lifestyle and how they live and how they feel. You know, it's a great, you know, it's one of the best things about hairdressing, really. You know, sending someone out with a massive smile on their face, you know, and then knowing in a few weeks' time, you know, you've changed their life, you know, just because you've changed the way they look massively. You know, it gives you a good feeling. You know, it's one of the things I really enjoy about hairdressing. It's fun to travel around and it's really how we came a lot closer as a family. It's just been, been something that, you know, it's like, oh, what is it? It's with many disasters with hair, but it's always the same. It's four months old now, but I want her to. I mean, things happen, but, you know, as long as you consult properly, yeah. and as long as you, you know, do, do your due diligence, skin tests, test pieces, all those type of things, you know, as long as you make sure that. You're, you know, you know exactly what you're expecting to get. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, you find that you get very little trouble happening. Then, realistically, I had a client the other day, and she'll know who she is. <laughs> um, and you know, we wanted to do we wanted to do the hair very bright, very different colours. I did a test piece, two test pieces actually. Um, one with a very low solution and one very very high solution, just to sort of test how how much hair how much she her hair could take, and uh, unfortunately both of them just fell apart. Which you know, lucky I did that because if you know if I'd have done her whole hair, obviously she wouldn't have had very much hair left. So you've got to do your due diligence. If you don't, then you're going to be caught out, and that's where the that's where you have these horrendous hair stories. Yeah. So, always be extremely careful, always do test pieces, always do skin tests, always skin tests, because you never have any idea whether your client's going to have a reaction to the colour you use or anything else. How long did it take you to train to be a hairdresser? Forever. <laughs> and I'm still training. Still learning. Yeah, you always learn. I mean, one thing you ask your hairdresser is, you know, when the last time they did a training course. Because if they're not doing training courses, they're not learning. They're not learning. They're not keeping up with fashion. They're not keeping up with fashion. What the hell are they doing with your hair? So that's one of the big things you've got to you've got to sort of think to yourself is. When was the last time they actually looked into their training? When did they push themselves the last? You know, have they done anything artistic? Have they done, you know, standing behind the chair all day is fine, but you've got to enjoy doing it. You've got to have a passion for it. So I'm still learning. I know a lot, but not everything. There's still better hairdressers out there. I don't mind admitting that. <laughs> right, so here we go. This is our 80%. So, whether we go very short on the top, or whether we leave a little bit to play with. We'll just go completely short. I don't know. The safe bit thing would be leave it a little bit longer, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> exactly. Where's the fun? In, where's the fun in playing safe? <coughs> we're already we're already eight percent there now, aren't we? So, right. So 
I will leave a little bit to play with because this is the first time Michelle's had a very short haircut. So, if I whack it, well, okay, that's fair enough. If I, if I whack it right off, then you know. Sometimes when it's very short, it's very hard to style and change and play around with. So at least if I leave a little bit of hair to play with, and Michelle's got options. You know, she can play, she can style, she can blow dry, she can twist and scrunch it up, and you know, play around with a little bit of movement in the hair. You know, there's loads of things to play around with. But it's easier when there's a bit, a little bit more hair to play with. Any questions so far, Paul? No, just one comment that we've moved the round lounge around again from uh, Marie. <laughs> <coughs> Only because we're doing the hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been moved around oh, okay. a few times at Christmas. <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I need a bigger house. <laughs> I need to sell them. <laughs> still in the pipeline, guys. Still happening. Just gone a bit slow over Christmas. Nobody wants to talk, so. All Dawson eating biscuits. <laughs> and mince pies. Yeah, so it's looking pretty cool so far. Yeah. <laughs> is everyone back at work now then? Is that what counts? Is everyone back into the office? And... Some go back, don't they, between Christmas and New Year. Even some of the nurseries are open between Christmas and New Year. Yeah. yeah. It's a shame that people can't have a time off just to be with their family. Unfortunately, bills have to be paid. Yeah. That's the downside of being a grown up. <laughs> <laughs> Who enjoys being a grown up? <laughs> it's more fun. It's not very much fun. So, this is going to be really flexible, so if Michelle wants to kind of go this way, she can, if she wants to go that way, it can, straight back, it can, it can do anything it wants to do, or anything Michelle wants it to do. So, we'll show you a few styling ideas later on, it's you and Michelle. So one thing I try and do with my clients a lot of the time as well is show them how to look after their hair. Whether that's from a point of products, whether it's a point of how to blow dry it. What's the point of having it amazingly blow dried in the hairdressers for then all of a sudden to be tied up for the next six weeks because you can't remember or can't, or it's too hard to do it. So there's quite a few shortcuts and cheaty little ways you can actually style hair which I'll cover in a few other videos, I would imagine. <laughs> so, but there's lots and lots of things you can do. But us as hairdressers, not only, not only should we do amazing things with your hair, but we should give you the advice and the, and the knowledge of how to look after it as well. So that it can look amazing four weeks down the line, not just when you walk out the hairdressers.
every motorcycle in London has a unique and compelling story to tell. When you are speaking, when you are fast, you don't know what to do. There's a real fine part between the rest. She's making a mistake that can hurt you. Right, it's starting to look pretty cool now. Let's make sure we're back on the front link up from the top. <laughs> Concentration mode now. So Michelle's got, you know, like I said before, not massively thick hair, not 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 dead fine, but not massively thick. So I'm keeping everything very very straight, very clean, very sharp. <clears throat> if Michelle wants thicker, fuller hair, then if I chop into it. It's not going to make it thicker and fuller, it's going to make it thinner. So, but especially at this point now, I don't know kind of how bouncy, how, te how much texture, how much movement the hair is going to have. So I'm not going to cut into it or break it up at the minute because, you know, it might need, it might need a bit of movement later on, but not, not, not a lot. I did have visions of cutting Michelle short for engine, but <laughs> depends how this how this works out with uh, Michelle's lifestyle realistically. It might annoy her. <laughs> I might have to cut a fringe. So this is a hairstyle that is already in shape. So if we decide to just dry it with our fingers, you can see it's got a lot of movement already in the hair with the kink and the movement in there. Far too much movement usage. <laughs> but it's got a lot of wave and texture already in it. So by adding a blow dryer and a brush and everything else, you're going to make it a little bit smooth. Is that really what I want to do? I don't know. don't really have an inner monologue at the minute. It's just all coming out. So. Still experimenting with Schwarzkopf at the moment and so far very, very happy. So this is just prep spray. So, little to no hold. It's got a little bit of shine in it, but not a huge amount. Uh -oh. <laughs> What's he done? 
It was working just a minute ago, wasn't it? It was. You got a little technology. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, no, it's <laughs> right now. <laughs> this is why live is so great. <laughs> So if you want volume in your hair, add volume, lift it, you don't have to have a brush. quite a large amount of volume just through picking it up and pulling it around. So you just love professional hair dryers. <laughs> You can feel what I'm doing, can't you? All yeah. I'm literally doing is lifting those roots, not allowing the hair to kind of move and do whatever it wants to do. Look, they're not massively thick hair, that's looking a lot more thick. A lot more thick? <laughs> Thicker. Back to school. <laughs> Self-conscious at all here, Michelle, it's fine. <laughs> but we've got ourselves quite a different look going on. So from one way to the other, you know, you've got quite a textured, voluminous flow dry, just with hands, that's it. You could even kind of sneak it down. A little bit of crap height at the ground. Or vice versa. You know, very, very versatile sort of style. Well, he says it looks amazing. You look so different. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You know, you can't even whip the hair up as well. A bit more product involved in that. But once it's 
dry, it's dry. <laughs> so, as easy as that. No faff hairdo. No. <laughs> so there's no faff in the blow dry at all. Something that you can look after. Move the hair. That's all you need to do with it. Right, take a bit of the weight away because it is a bit strong in places. Just to break a few of the edges. But now we've got all the shape in place, now we can personalise it, and this is exactly what we're doing here is personalising. So we're not cutting length, the length is already established. This is all just personalisation. Or other hairdressers is called faffing about. <laughs> Terms, it's technically right. called faffing. <laughs> Cheryl's just shared your post. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free for everybody to share it, by all means, <laughs> go ahead, go crazy. Get the word out there. <laughs> I want rugby to have good hair. Interesting, funky. So all we're doing is creating a little bit of movement. I'm not losing any of the thickness, I'm not losing any of the bulk. I just want those edges to be a little bit less strong. Benefits when you're not working in the salon. There's no mirror in front of you. <laughs> you can use all of the space. Looks great. So you never thought you'd have this much hair, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> you wait till you get your hands in it, it'll feel like a mass of hair. <laughs> it does look and feel quite a lot thicker, I must admit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and there we have it, people. Soft, feminine, short. Kaylee Johnston says, looks amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Kaylee. I know somebody else would be out there.
I missed the name, but somebody's asking if he's still okay to patch test today. I am indeed. <laughs> Who is that? I don't know, it's gone off the screen. Oh, come on, Paul. <laughs> Sack the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> This is a good tea lady. Hey! <laughs> I won't say what I said yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta remember this is live. <laughs> there might be kids watching. <laughs> so you could faff, I mean personalise, forever. <laughs> but there we go. Michelle's new look. <laughs> now Michelle hasn't actually seen this yet. <laughs> so here we go for the grand unveil. Drum roll. Now remember you've got to be nice no matter what, because we're alive. <laughs> oh wow, I love it. Yes, cool. But yeah, like I said, you can play with it over the one side or completely flip it over. To the other side as well. Oh, Depending on how you feel. <laughs> it was a lot messier, but I've smoothed it out so you can kind of funk it out and <laughs> play with it a lot more and get loads of texture going on. It's cool. And like I say, if you put a bit more product in it, you can kind of slick it back and have that kind of very sort of quiffed effect. Yeah. So you've got lots and lots of options. Do you recommend a product? <laughs> um, well, what I'm going to use is. In my box of bricks. <laughs> Not for slicking it back, this is more for kind of messing it up. So, so Schwarzkopf. <laughs> and this will give us that texture. And it smells nice. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares what it does? It smells nice. <laughs> Yeah, it really does smell nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have one. <laughs> so there we have it, guys. A new look, <laughs> all finished. I know it took a little bit of time, but we got there in the end. Um, but yeah, be, feel free to like the page, um, leave comments, send loads of questions. You know, like I said, I'm all about the advice as well. It's not just kind of create the hairstyle. You've got to be able to look after the hair and basically be able to manage it as easy as possible. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs> and tune in soon. See you later.